Hey, Uncle John. Hey, Grandma. So, I'm looking to hear, uh, make a video for you guys of me just walking around the woods for today. I'm looking to scout out a new campsite just here on the property. Uh, I'm thinking the far side, but I just got done with some homework. Uh, quarantine's got us all down, so we're all stuck around. But I have this amazing property, so I might as well use it to the fullest. So, I won't have time to go camping next two or three weeks because I have some projects and presentations I have to finish, but I want to go ahead and scout out an area, kind of get it somewhat prepped, and I'm looking to make some edited videos um, of me camping. So nothing too fancy, not like starting a crazy YouTube channel, but I figured it's, it's a good way to kill time and it's fun, so I'll edit some videos for you guys and uh, either post them on YouTube and send you guys the link or just have the video and then send it to you. It depends on how long they are. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Looks like we've had either some squirrels or turkeys out here digging around. Going off of the season, I'm gonna say it's turkeys. We've already had a flock or two of turkeys come through and tear up the top of the hill. My dad and I thought they were hogs, but no, my dad saw some turkeys, so. Oh yeah, just tore up the trail. Just the leaves though, nothing too much. Looks like the bridge is Looking good. This is where I'm thinking about having the campsite down over here. A little frog. Creeks beautiful today. But I'll keep looking around, see if I can find a good spot over in here in this corner. I don't want to be too close to the cut over there, to the dam. I don't want to be on this hill or on top of it, even though that's typically where you'd want to be, but I really want to be secluded for this video that I do. So maybe somewhere over in there. We'll see. Well, I think I found my spot. I'm thinking this spot, you can hear the owls talking to each other. So I'm thinking this spot here, it's nice and flat, um, still on my property. There's some nicer spots behind me over here, but technically not on my property, and the property behind me has been bought by that family and they're looking to build, so I don't want to have a campfire and a tent and these other things built up while they're walking around on it. I am up against the property line. It's about 50 feet that way. But I think this could be a good spot. So Uncle John, so you can understand where I am, the circle you have over by the, uh, the second shooting plot where the pipe is, the dam's right over here. Um, I'm in the circle, the roundabout. Um, I really wanted to pitch up where there's like a, a hill right behind me, not too big. There's nice flat ground up there. I thought that would be nice, but it's, it's a good 50, 100 feet off the property. So I'm thinking standing on the property, standing on the properties for the best. So, but this spot has a nice clearing here. I got the trail around me, but a good thicket of trees, about 100 or so feet from the edge um, of the tree line here. 
Got the pipe over there, the creek right there. I'm not too close to the water where mosquitoes should be. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll see. But uh, time will tell. I'm thinking this being the apex of my campsite right here. I got my, my uh, 410 shotgun. And I'm thinking about making a simple lean-to. Uh, there's a big down pine tree. We got some down over here that you and uh, my dad dropped. There's a good way I could wedge it in between these two trees and then make one big lean-to, maybe about 12 feet. And I can string up, just as a place to string up my tarp, make a lean-to going this way. It kind of cut me off from the neighbor's property. And then set up my tent right here. I might have to go this way because I really don't want to take out this small tree here, but we'll see again. I gotta figure out where I'd want to put my campfire. There's a spot over here that's looking pretty good. So I'll get some other shots for you guys. So just so you can see Uncle John, there's the deer feeder. Bridge is right over there. Hill up on the center of my property. Here's this big tree I was talking about. We got a nice little V going on in here, a little wedge that I can stick something in. And I could actually, if I clear this area up some, I could put the lean-to in my tent over here, but it's not as level as this area right here. There's the uh, property edge. And depending on how I angled the campsite, I'm thinking over here for the campfire would be a good spot right in that clearing. Or if I wanted to, if it's a smaller fire, I could do it right here. And my lean-to going from this cedar stump up. If I did that, I would definitely have to clear out this tree. It'd just be kind of in the way. But yeah, I'm feeling good about this spot. And I got a nice little running water from the pipe. I definitely want to put up a tarp with the uh, clearing I have from the sun, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I think I'll start doing small bits of work out here and uh, getting it prepped, clearing out some of this underbrush, clearing out some small trees, and I'll leave any construction or fire building or anything to the. Uh, to the main camping video. you guys enjoyed the little short video I put together for you but got myself a little hawk feather here so possible name for the campsite hawk feather camp I don't know but uh, it's definitely warm but I'm young so I can do it I can do all this hot camping but I think if I'm slow and don't have much going on when I'm doing the camps I should be fine with temperature but uh in my uh, new tent that I got, one man tent, the top half of it's just mesh. So if I have a tarp over me, just have the mesh out, I'll probably sleep pretty good. Like in the shade with the breeze, it's pretty good. But uh, here in front of you in the foreground is um, another project I have. I wanted to make a small little bushcraft table to, uh, to work on. So these two halves are relatively flat once I uh, trim them down, but uh, I'm thinking that bottom half's gonna be a little better. It looks a little more flat. 
but I have more homework to get to. This has been my little 40 minute trek in the woods, condensed down to probably like seven or eight minutes for you guys. But uh, excuse any editing unpleasantries with it because it might be a little fast on the editing, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm doing this completely on my phone, so hopefully you guys can hear me all right. I'll do a little checkaroo on it and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you.